Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling a hot topic for all you Linux gamers out there. Do you really need to wait for Vulkan shaders? I know it can be um, a bit frustrating watching that progress bar creep along, but we're here to break it down and see if it's something you can just skip. All right, so let's start at the beginning. What exactly do Vulkan shaders do? Basically, these are small graphical programs that handle the shades and visual effects in your games, making them look a whole lot better. On uh, Windows, you don't have to worry too much about it since the system handles shaders in the background with built-in support. But on Linux, you rely on uh, open source alternatives like uh, Vulkan or OpenGL, which means every time you launch a game, the shaders need to be processed to run properly. When you fire up a game, Steam pre-caches all the shaders you might need. It's like preparing a bunch of ingredients before you start cooking so that when it's time to run the game, everything's almost ready to go. Now here's the big question. Should you wait for the Vulkan shaders to finish processing or is it okay to hit that skip button? Technically, you can skip it. When you do, the shaders will continue to process in the background. However, um, be prepared for some temporary stutter in your game until everything's fully processed. It's not a deal breaker, but it might impact performance for a little while. If you're not into waiting around, you can even set Steam to auto skip the processing. Just go to your Steam menu, head over to settings, click on downloads, and scroll down until you see the shader pre caching option. Toggling. Allow background processing of Vulkan shaders will let you skip the wait and let everything process quietly in the background. Now, if you're thinking, should I disable shader pre-caching altogether? I'd advise against it. The pre-cached shaders don't take up much space and they really do save you time in the long run. It might just make that boring process seem even longer if you turn it off. In summary, unless you're noticing significant performance issues, it's perfectly fine to skip waiting for Vulkan shaders. The only downside is a bit of temporary stutter on startup. And if you've got a high-end graphics card, chances are you won't even notice any negative effects at all. So there you have it. Vulkan shaders are an essential part of how Linux has made gaming look fantastic, but you don't really need to wait around for them if you're in a hurry. Just let them finish processing in the background and you're good to go. And hey, if you're looking to play your Windows games on Linux, be sure to check out Proton, another great tool that makes the transition even smoother. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss out on more Linux gaming tips. Leave a comment down below if you've tried skipping the shader processing or if you have any questions. Until next time, happy gaming and see you in the next video.